What you call yourself, man? I mean, I go by many names, man. Hold on, MHC, hold it, hold it, hold it. Mayhem, Artillery, and Currency, Mac Black, the, the Elohim, the Mach 90, Mac 11, Big Head Scientist, Low Mac. Seen of a debate between community activists and police over the tactics used in a recent police raid. Crown Force Hazik Madun has tonight's top story at 5.30. And you've justified now wholesale kicking down doors, coming in with tanks. If you're holding any community hostage, the Oakland Police Department are going to fight for those who can't fight for themselves. One police raid, two very different points of view. Community activists are now speaking out about their concerns regarding an Oakland police operation in this community, where over 50 alleged gang members were arrested. A press conference was held here on the corner of 8th and Adeline. But I stand before you as the individual who ran Operation Nutcracker. And OPD was there and tried to explain what happened from their perspective. Police officers. I shout out Pop a lot, man. Mob ties. I ain't gonna lie. I've been tapped into your channel for like... Uh, before I start doing content, I ain't gonna lie. And I was just over there the other day though, that's crazy. Who put their lives in danger going to arrest some of the most notorious individuals. I've been here 17 years and I will go on record and say this is the most notorious group of individuals that I've seen in my police career. But community leaders say they hear otherwise. Residents here, according to what we were told, were frightened to death, not by the young men, but by law enforcement. But has crime decreased in this area since the raid? As I stated before, we had 37 homicides in the last year and a half attributed directly to this group. Since Operation Nutcracker, how many uh, homicides in this area? None. Another issue for protesters are these words spoken by the Attorney General at a press conference following the raid. These individuals, as you see listed here and shown, uh, they're a type of urban terrorist. There is the Acorn Project, for instance, in Oakland. All volunteer and all fed up. I would have loved to got me a gun and went up to my roof and, and sniped at these guys or, you know, the violent, you know, get tough with these guys. Damn, Paul Malone was on some bullshit. He said he was going to get on the roof and start sniping. Shit. Yeah, but... You know, uh, sanity stepped in and said, you know, if you do this, uh, you're going to get your butt blown away <laughs> kind of thing. You know, they, you know, we've had gun battles on my street, you know, guys pulling out Uzis at each other and that. And I figure if something violent's going to have to happen, I'll leave that to the police department. Paul Malone is an Oakland mailman, a member of ACORN, a community group with several political agendas. But one of them is ridding the streets of drug dealers. Biggest gang in the United States, you know what I'm talking about? Also, on the down low, we created the Crips, you know what I mean? Gave them LA Cash that literature, and they, you know, crossed it up a little bit, started gang banging. Y'all should know what it is, man. Individuals, you know, wanted to be Crips, and that wouldn't. Is that right? So the Crips come from West Oakland, the Black Panthers? I didn't know that, but I did hear something about the it, it, it stemming from the Black Panthers, but I thought it was the LA chapter of the Black Panthers. So, so the Crips come from West Oakland. Let me know what y'all think about that in the comments. We ain't gotta go through that. We're gonna talk about the town, though. You know what I'm saying? That's another part of the Jets, you know what I'm saying? We had to get up in here because, you know what I'm saying? Hey, what party are we at right now, man? These are acorns. The Tories acorn Jets. You know what I'm saying? On this thing, niggas know about these motherfuckers, though. You know what I'm saying? We ain't no Crips and no Bloods in Oakland, period. You know what I'm saying? Niggas do what they want, man, but we knocking shit down. You know what I'm saying? I watch individuals grow up so. I'm going to Hollywood right now to be acting like I say, man. I'm acting good. Niggas call me on a bad day, you feel what I'm saying? I got the trinkets on, how, how niggas be doing What's that right there coming up out your shirt, man? Just that, that water gun, man. You know what I'm saying? I got you like my little sunroom. It's a little more thing. I spray paint that motherfucker. So you know what I mean? Spray paint that motherfucker. Nigga don't got nothing less than 30. Hold oh, on, let me see that put yeah. that motherfucker in the light, man. Unless no, that's small shit though. <laughs> yeah, I'm to play though. Unfortunately, me, allegedly, they say I like to get in the car, I like to cop the neck, I like to cook the dog, I like to bag it, I like to get my money in and knock a nigga down. Allegedly, that's what they say. That's too many damn positions. You don't see the quarterback playing no wide receiver position, you know what I'm saying? So, my niggas. Yeah, hey, I'm going up the grade. Another bad day. I'm wrestling no more. I'm doing the yeah, same shit. Yeah, yeah. You thought I wasn't gonna get this shit? Check this out, right? I'm like a red nose kid, man.
Chicago, powder girl, here right, magnum in the calico. If it's dry, I gotta go. It's where the bitches in the oh, I talk this shit for real, man. Them other niggas just Them other niggas just really though. I get disappointed constantly. That nigga MAC was a fool. This like this like recreational rec type time. Like niggas was wearing recreational. I don't know if y'all know about that in like other places, but uh creative recreations, the shoe, they was kinda big during this time. Like the like two thousand <sighs> I don't know, man. Y'all give me the date. Flow. Really, though, I get disappointed constantly. Cause these big ass bitches can't suck or fuck with me. Too many brothers. Shit, I ain't never heard of that. Ten minutes, sisters, man. That's every other ghetto rat. Keep a stack, but I'm stingy. Go for hours, bitch, then hit me. Snoke that powder, bust that pussy. How could she ever get me? Stay on her mind and her spine. Call me Mr. Summertime. Keep her hot and wet. Man, that bitch, you know I ain't fucking lying. Should've put on Mac Blast, but I'ma give her this one pass. Change her name, put in her ass, so I can get all my cash. Yeah, bitch, call up a click, click, kaboom. That's how we do it out here, man. 18 spot. Yo, yo, we back. It's your boy, Popeye. Mob ties. We on our way to Cali with it. Oakland to be exact. West Oakland to be more exact. If you want to be more precise, meet us at the old Acorn Projects. AP shit. Shout out to everybody in Oakland. Shout out to everybody. Hey, and they still up. Them, them, them projects still up, but it's crazy. You know what's crazy? Uh... You know, they tore you so, so you know what? I'm just saying, like, pieces of it is still up. I don't know if I'm not mistaken, they did tear down some parts of it. Look in the comment box, y'all already know how we run it. Now, today, we are going to be covering somebody legendary in the town. Now, if you from the town, you already know what it is when you mention MAC, Mac Blast. But today, we are going to be covering... Mark Anthony Candler, aka Mac Blast, aka MAC, aka one of the most notorious people to ever come through Oakland. If you're listening to the authorities, now we about to try to get into it, and I'm gonna tell y'all a little bit about the homie MAC. Shout out to him, Free Mac. But you can't talk about Mac Blast without talking about acorn projects and pretty much the acorn gang so the acorn projects or acorn is a series of housing projects in the acorn redevelopment project area or the acorn neighborhood of west oakland known as the corns or the cornfields neighbors to a wide variety of housing projects is bordered by the high rise city towers apartments and the low rise more apartments to the south cypress village to the west Market Street to the east and 10th Street to the north. Now, it originally consisted of three units, Acorn 1, Acorn 2, and Acorn 3. Now, in the late 90s, like everywhere across the United States, they would go on to, uh, I want to say tear down, but redevelop or gentrify the neighborhood to pretty much combat crime. Acorn 2 and Acorn 3 were renamed Town Center Apartments at Acorn in the courtyard departments at acorn anybody that been there before and after tell me if y'all even recognize that shit because anywhere you go or anywhere i see i know i wasn't tripping they did tear down the, you know what i'm saying they remodeled a little bit of that shit over there but it is two towers that's still up you know what i'm saying so so but but uh yeah i've been shout out to brooklyn that shit just do not look the same now now, according to Wikipedia, and it's well known that Acorn is the home of the Acorn Street Gang. They're going to note due to the close proximity skirmishes between Acorn and neighboring Cypress Village, as well as the lower bottoms occur frequently. The media would also mention an ongoing rivalry or a feud that they would have with a rival gang by the name of Ghost Town. I'm not sure if they associated with any one of those two neighborhoods, but my guys from Oakland, y'all get in the bottom, put me in a note. Now, some people outside of Oakland definitely might know my guy, Mac Blast, because his name rings. But if you're familiar 
with the classic DVD series, Coast to Coast, where they would go to different neighborhoods. Mac Blast would be one of the main people featured in the Oakland episode, and he would go on to detail some of the tales of his life and his many run-ins with death, which includes multiple attempts on his life and shootings. One where he goes into vivid detail of how during one of his shootings, it was the news crew out covering a separate murder. Somehow the information would get switched up and people would go on to think that he was deceased, saying he would come out his door to those same project hallways he was standing in, saying RIP to the last real one, RIP MAC. So there's no way I could detail everything in this guy's life but i definitely want to put y'all in the know of the people that y'all need to know about and that need to be covered now everything i definitely so so it's crazy right rest in peace my nigga jamari the so so that's how i i end up meeting mac like i met him one time you know what i'm saying I, we was doing something we was hustling you know what i'm saying me and my nigga we was maneuvering and doing hella shit he ended up taking me to a block that 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 uh uh, the acorn niggas had kind of like start facilitating that was in east oakland though it was, so it was a west oakland block in east oakland it was seven four seven four in rusdale you know what i'm saying but uh what's a trip right is not only is is mac story cold but it's other like niggas from over there that got some cold stories too like like, like, I just remember being a young nigga and hearing certain shit about niggas like Weez. You feel me? MAC, younger brother, if I'm not mistaken. I don't know if they was blood related. I don't, I don't really know. But, yeah, man, it, some niggas over there got some cold history. And for Mac Blast, pretty much is going to hit ahead in June of 2008. That's when authorities would launch Operation Nutcracker after a three-month investigation. They would go on to arrest more than 40 people making Mac Blast almost the target of those raids with the East Bay Times headlining articles suspected Acorn gang members snarled and raid ABC7 gang leader ordered to stand trial so right off top the media would go to portray Mark Mac Blast Candler as the alleged leader of the Acorn gang even though the lieutenant at that time would say that they were one of the most dangerous gangs in Oakland, I read that a lot of the other people had almost minor drug charges, but Mac Blast's charges would be the most serious out of those people caught in those raids. And based on my research, I read somewhere where they say he was charged with upwards of seven felonies. And the main charges out of those seven felonies was going to be an attempt murder, which I'm going to get to in a little bit. But with that and the enhancements that they throw on you that could have sent him away for life now in announcing those arrests in operation nutcracker oakland police lieutenant ursi joiner said that the acorn group was the most violent gang we've seen in a long time and joiner would go on to say mac blast was born and raised in east oakland but at the age of 14 he would move to the acorn projects and begin to flex his power quote unquote now Joyner said that Candler was involved in dealing drugs see see you know what's crazy right the fact that they put the leadership position on him just like so so you know they they do their little wire attaching shit and they come up with whatever conclusion they gonna come up with you know they don't be knowing how shit is or what's what really feel me but for them to put the leadership role on him it make it seem like they knew he was a different type of threat you feel me like 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 on a on a revolutionary type level right Drugs and got people to follow and idolize him and build a reputation now in a news release issued by california attorney general jerry brown he would go on to say candler was a prolific drug trafficker in oakland and in detroit and has been shot several times and is suspected to be responsible for homicides and a number of other shootings though he was only charged with that attempt murder and now we're gonna try to get into that so it looks like the trial for mac blast's attempt murder took place in november of 2008 now this is according to the east bay times they're gonna say a man allegedly who was shot by a reputed leader of oakland's worst drug gang testified 
that he had no idea who shot him in an incident at 31st Street and Martin Luther King Jr. Way on June 30th, 2006. He would go on to say, I didn't see anybody under questioning by prosecutor John Bruhard, the victim who didn't want his name disclosed, denied that he told Oakland Police Sergeant Tony Jones that Mac Blast and his co-defendant, Elijah Thomas, who some referenced as his cousin, were the people that shot him. When asked if he recognized Candler and Thomas in court, he said he don't know those people. He would later go on to add, they don't look nothing like the people who shot me. Now, and that's very, very interesting because it would be a lot of questions into the raid of Operation Nutcracker. And some people would say that Mac Blast was such a force on these streets and in the streets of Oakland and definitely in the Acorn Projects area that he almost got the Larry Hoover treatment or the Jeff Fort treatment where they're going to do anything they can to pretty much take him off the streets. He would. Yeah, that's what I took from that, too. And we already know how that situation concluded. Free that man. You know what I'm saying? He should be back. Like, he, I heard good things. Last time I was tapped in on his pay, he was saying he should be back soon or whatever, right? When he was getting into it with DB. DB was telling him all type of crazy shit. And he was like, man, I'll be back. Dude. So, like, you know, nigga, you. But uh, it's crazy because same thing I was thinking before I even watched it, right? Before we got to the part where he was saying, oh, you feel me because of his influence was really the reason why he was a target and i kind of like just based off of it i've been had that kind of feeling like like but you know we underestimate uh us feel me and 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 and, and whole time the government is knowing nigga a, a nigga abilities and, and and you feel me what what a motherfucker got the ability to to set and play right that's why tupac nigga was was a target same type of shit but but yeah, man. Pop a lot. Shout out Pop a lot, man. I've been tapped into the channel for a while. I ain't gonna lie to you, bro. Since, like, nigga, before I start doing content, like I said, I've been, and it's a trip, bro. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah, man. Free MAC. Uh, and you know what's crazy, right? I did want to mention, like, it's, it's crazy, like, what the Jets then turned into. That's another name for Acorn. Uh, but, so they, like, the young niggas over there, you can kind of see the lack of, even though it's still structured, like, because they come from that. So, it's kind of like, and better than them, you can see the, la you, you can see the the effects of them taking a nigga like MAC off the streets. I ain't gonna lie, like, a lot of shit came from that. Like, we got Party in the Jets. We got, you know, hella, like, little shit, rest in peace, Ed Nari. It, shit, certain shit, like, transpired because of whatever. And it's not to say, you know, like, whatever, but... I just feel like bro, a lot of shit was, you know, was was done purposely, man. Same same way, like on some Chicago shit, how they took their big homies out the way. And they did the same thing everywhere. Shit, you know, shit, y'all niggas, let me know what y'all think.